Deadpool is known as one of the best fighters in the Marvel Universe, being able to fight on par with some of the highest tier characters that exist, even killing the entire Marvel Universe at one point. Well, in the comics, but even in the movies, he's able to take on plenty of fighters at once and take on people like Clayball who clearly outstrained him. So it's impressive. But under all that top tier skill, he's actually really terrible at fighting. And in this video, I'm gonna explain why. Dang, Skippy, where are my manners? Introductions. Yeah. Call me Deadpool. It rhymes with no school. Too cool, ain't no fool, and I'm the best that there is at what I do. Cool. Moving on. What's up, guys? It's the only ninja wearing a here to a super hot, and welcome to the Modern Ninja, and specifically, welcome to the Fight Like a Superhero series, a series where usually I show you how to fight like some of your favorite characters from TVs, movies, and games, but in real life. But this episode is gonna be just a wee bit different. I'm actually gonna teach you not only how to recreate Deadpool's fighting style, but also how to make it not like actually suck. You know, if you actually used it, because let me tell you, it sucks. Anyway, I got places to be, a face to fix, and oh, bad guys to kill. So let's break it down. First, anyone trying to fight like Deadpool is going to need to learn plenty of parkour. Deadpool's movements are incredibly crucial to actually how he fights. Vaulting over people, flipping around attackers, and keeping fluid is incredibly important for Deadpool. And parkour is absolutely perfect for that. And in fact, it actually originates with military training, making it always a good pair for any martial arts combat style. But as for the actual martial art base that we're going to be using, we're going to start with kickboxing. When Deadpool isn't using his guns and blades, he's actually fairly a balanced fighter. Like he uses his hands, his elbows, knees, and feet all together pretty seamlessly. And when you watch him in the movies, it's definitely got a good kickboxing style to it, at least in my opinion. However, we definitely need to mix in some XMA. And don't worry, I realize many of you may not know what that actually is, so I'll explain. XMA or Extreme Martial Arts is kind of a spin-off style of martial arts. Basically, if you took Taekwondo, Wushu, and gymnastics and mixed it all in a blender, you would come out with Extreme Martial Arts, or it's also called Trick. This basically uses it pretty much exclusively high level kicks and skills that are incredibly hard for beginners that don't have another style of training in their belt to pick up on. Hence why it's more like a spin-off style, not its own style by itself. And the reason for that is because it's actually designed for showmanship over anything else. In fact, it was actually coined by a Power Ranger. Yeah, an actual Power Ranger. If you want to watch a full video about that, check out the icon, I guess, or, you know, Search it in my channel, because I got you. But the reason we need to include it is because it will give us the skills necessary to pull off some of the moves that you see Deadpool use, like the crazy ones where he's flipping and kicking people mid-air. Next, we get to use our blades. Forget that these shiny sticks are swords and hop right on. Deadpool uses twin katanas like an absolute unit, and for this, we are going to actually mix two different styles. The so first being Kendo. It's a Japanese martial art that can be traced back to pre-feudal Japan era. Pre-feudal era Japan, however the right way to say that is. But that means even samurai have trained this style and are in this lineage. And so of course, this is where you're going to get some of the best katana training in the world. And for Deadpool, that is obviously necessary. However, that isn't quite enough by itself. You are actually going to need uh, to include some Kung Fu as well. The Deadpool uses dual swords and Kendo doesn't really do that. At least most schools in Kendo don't do dual wielding katanas. But Kung Fu can balance that out. Although katanas aren't really a Kung Fu type of weapon, Kung Fu does have all kinds of dual weapons in its systems, whether that's butterfly swords, the jaw, the Jian, Jian man, I can't pronounce for my life. But um, also we have the double-edged straight swords, we have hook swords, and plenty of other options that you can find if you really look for it. But having both of these styles in your tool belt will greatly increase your overall sword skills and get you that much closer to looking like Deadpool in real life. Now, obviously we're also gonna need some extensive gun training. Let's count them down. 
they, Deadpool is able to pull off some incredibly crazy and super cool trick shots with his trusty pistols. And in both movies, Deadpool is seen using several guns, but he tends to favor his Desert Eagle Mark 19, which fun fact is also the gun used by the agents in the Matrix. So make sure you use that gun when you're training so that you're ready for actually using that gun as Deadpool. But you know, like don't actually Kill people but in theory you're gonna actually need to get two of them because uh deadpool really loves dual wielding and again don't kill people it's bad nobody's getting hurt that guy was already up there when i got here plus actually doing trick shots just get like an airsoft gun that looks like a desert eagle and that'll be great because then you could just like you know do these airsoft wars and come as deadpool and absolutely wreck house <laughs> actually like i haven't even scripted this part but that sounds like a fantastic idea give me some like give me to like i don't know a thousand likes on this video and i'll do it sure but last on the list we're going to need to add arnis for his knife skills not only is he an absolute boss at using knives to carve up his enemies, but he can do it from range too. Able to throw knives with incredibly ac incredible accuracy, I swear. I can't speak English, guys. He's able to throw knives with incredible accuracy, and Arnis is one of the best styles out there for knives as a whole. In fact, this Filipino martial art is so focused on weapons that it actually teaches students to use weapons before they even learn how to throw a correct punch. So of course it's getting added in the list. Now some of you may be thinking, uh, DJ, you said his fighting style sucks. It sounds like it's actually super dope. And to those of you guys, I say, just wait. It all really comes down to just like two things. The first, you haven't clicked the like button yet. So fix that. And the second, which is slightly more important in this context, it's his healing factor. Deadpool has one of the best healing factors in all of like media, like in all of fiction, he has one of the top healing factors. He was, he is able to come back from pretty much anything that possibly happens to him. In fact, he was literally banned from dying from death itself. Yes, death as a concept banned him from dying. Or was it Thanos? Somebody remind me in the comments. It was one of those two. But Deadpool knows he basically can't die. So with the knowledge that he has, he does what every maniac would do. He stops trying. Why block punches when your nose will heal in seconds? Why not take a stab to the face so you can cut off their head a little easier? And why even bother dodging bullets? I mean, why not try to see how many of them you can cut mid-air? Which, uh isn't a lot of them, it's definitely not most of them. So which means that anyone that's trying to use specifically his fighting style that doesn't have his healing factor, um, they're gonna die, like, quickly. You'd be wondering why the red suit? Well, that's so bad guys can't see me bleed. This guy's got the right idea. He wore the brown pants. So you can't really use his fighting style as it's shown. You're gonna have to modify it just a little bit to learn, you know, how to protect yourself a little bit better and making sure your blocking skills are top tier, not just eh, maybe. My personal suggestion would be adding in some Shotokan Karate to give you a little bit more options in the blocking category. Shotokan is great and expansive as far as hand-to-hand -hand techniques go, and it is a great addition that can balance out our defensive issue that we have with Deadpool's normal fighting style. Of course, unless you have a healing factor yourself, in which case, completely disregard that entire section. But now that we've made the actual fighting style survivable, let's go outside and learn a sword combo that you can practice at home. Hey, I just figured I'd let you guys know that there's new merch in the store. Like if you didn't even know I had a store, I have a merch store and there's new merch in it. So definitely go check it out. There might be something you like, there might not be, but you know, you never know until you know. So go check it out, links down in the description. Now it's time to get into our Deadpool combination. I'm gonna be using a sentry tricking straight sword for this combination. One, for safety, because tricking swords are great practice swords because you won't accidentally touch yourself. And two, because, you know, why not? I have it and 
it's pretty fun to use. Now, if you wanna get your own one of these bad boys, well, definitely check out the links down below. Now, fair warning, mine is slightly modified. I have taken off the original grip and redid it with my own grip because I like being special and unique and extra for no reason. Well, I mean, it's a reason for me, but no real reason, it's not necessary. You don't have to do that. But when your grip doesn't look exactly like mine, you can blame that. And when you drop your sword trying to do the tricks I do, you can also blame my grip. <laughs> oh, what am I doing with my life? It's hot in Texas. Help me. So starting off, we're gonna just assume we have already <clears throat> sheathed our sword because, you know, Deadpool already goes into battle ready to throw hands. We're gonna start off with two hands on our sword, just like so. Top hand right by the hilt and bottom towards the bottom of the, of the handle, not the very bottom, but towards the bottom. So starting off, we're gonna do two strikes, one going across, one going down. For our across, it's gonna be kind of like taking off a head coming across that neck level. And for our down, it's not straight down, that's gonna be angled down, like we're going from shoulder to hip. So going one, two, one, two. So this is the first bad guy, one, two. And our stances shift from left to right. Now in combat, you don't really need deep stances like this, but if you're doing this for any competitions, for martial arts, like sport karate or anything like that, you're gonna wanna have nice, good, strong stances. So now that we have our first and second, we're actually gonna grab the next person and as we switch our feet, we're going to stab them in the stomach. So one, two, grab, stab, just like so. We pull our other hand in so that we can really drive our sword nice and deep. Now the reason we twist our feet is for the next reason, which is a spin and a slash just like our second one before. So again, we have one, two, grab, Stab and slash. From here, we're going to re-grip our sword, as in, instead of having a vertical or traditional grip, you're actually gonna re-grip to a inverted, because I like inverted, and if you don't, screw you. You're going to do your tornado kick, stepping across with your right foot, pointing your left knee at your target, switch and kick across, as you spin through for your final strike, just like so. When you do it in full speed, that looks like our kick and our slash. Now we're up to here. We have our first strike, our second strike. We grab, we stab, we turn and finish. We re-grip, do our tornado kick, spin through on our left leg and finish across. You can finish with one hand, double, it's kind of up to you. So once you're here, you're going to invert the blade, striking across, punching them away from you, tossing for flare, and finishing them off just like so. So one more time, you have your inverted final strike, flip, finger facing the sky, coming across, punch, flip for flare, and finish. And that is our combination. And when you do it all the way through nice and fast, it'll look something like this. And that is a Deadpool combination for you guys. Hope you enjoy, but let's get back to DJ inside. Chris Pie Five. Okay. Merry Christmas. Well guys, make sure to check out the link down below for the safe sword I was using in that video because again, practicing safety is important. But until next time, my name is DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja and I'm out. I can't believe it. I'm alive! I'm alive! <laughs>If you enjoyed this video, check out this one about Moon Knight or this other one you do thinks you will enjoy as well. Either way, I'll see you guys in.